guys, it's Vandy as well. Back again from the Card 5 Vanguard deck profile. So, if you guys enjoy, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and donate to the Patreon. And let's get someone started. Today, we have Gear Chronicle Chronos Command. Chronos Command has a very interesting skill. It retained the good old nuke effect, which was an on hit. And I'm pretty sure in the previous era, it was a counter blast 2 to soul boss wanted to do it. And now it's for free as long as it hits. And then it has another skill that has the ability to reset your field, which is pretty much what Fate Rider, I think, did. Or some upheaval uh, packets might be the thing I'm thinking of that did it, but to the opponent's field. Now it does it to your field. It's a 50 50 card, I would say. When we get to it, we'll get to it. So let's go ahead and get this started because, um, why the hell not? It's a fun ish deck. So, first up, we have our starter in Chrono Dran 6k base, 10k shield, grade zero with boost. Auto when it's rolled upon, draw a card. Then, if your opponent's vanguard is a greater or greater, you get a quick shield ticket. Standard draw, get a quick shield. Nothing too special about it. Just a good old starter. It's here because. Uh, spoiler alert, the main grade 3 is Chrono Jet. You can already assume what one of the grade 4s is. So, um, yeah, might as well run Drain in it because, uh, you know, Drain is baby for Chrono Jet. So, um, yeah, Chrono Jet is a starter. Trigger wise, we run 4 Draw Trigger and Lucky Pot Draco Kid. 8 Crit and Reclaim Heal, Reclaim Key Draco Kid. 4 Heart Thump Worker as another crit, which are 30k Crit Sentinel. I prefer the Crit Sentinel over the Draw PG because, like, one, it's a Chrono Jet card, which is the main reason why I was here in the first place. But also just because, like, the 30k shield does a lot more in the cases of, like, I guess discard fodder. Because when you really go down to think about it, Chrono Jet might make you discard multiple cards. And then the PG will come back to fuck you really, really badly. So you don't really need it as much as you would need the crit sentinel. Because what if you discard too much and then you only have the PG left? Well, then you can't fucking use it unless you're cheating and you're using, like... DPGs. In that case, go right ahead and pick the DPG. Otherwise, I say crit zone is better because, you know, you have a greater chance of pulling it off because it only requires itself to be in hand compared to the regular PGs which require it and another card. And just the critical because why the hell not? And then finally, Aluru. If Chrono Drain is here and this is here and Chrono Jet's in, I have to run Aluru. It's, it's, it's how this works. If Chrono Jet is the Vanguard or the main deck card, main grade 3, my lineup will always have Chrono Drain, this thing most likely, and Aluru in it. It will always be that way. It will never not be that way. Heal Guardians. I mean, yeah, Heal Guardians. I guess this is one of the ones that I would say sure with. Like, D Dementia Police, I can see. This one I can definitely see as well because they are grade threes that can be used as the cost. Thing is, and I will keep going back to this, 15k shields, only useful when you have zero damage, and only useful when, you're upon when you have not ridden to grade three. Which are going to do a lot in this deck, by the way. Like... I swear, if they took out the grade 3 part, even if they lessened the shield down to the stats of draw triggers, which, when will they fucking make them 10Ks? I have no idea. But if they lowered the shield stats down to draw triggers and then just got rid of uh, the, if you haven't ridden to grade 3 yet, then I would say, yeah, fucking run that because that's a minus 2 crit and a minus 10 at all time. Or maybe just minus 1 crit because a lot of things can hit double crit. So just maybe minus 1 crit and it'll be fine. Why they had to make it... If you haven't ridden a grade 3 yet, and then a 15k shield, no. And plus a 10k base, which does absolutely nothing on rear. So, they had options. I don't... I, there are decks that can benefit from this, but like 95% of the Vanguard decks get no benefit from Heal Guardians whatsoever. So, that's a thing. Anyways, on to our main deck. We have three copies of Lost Gear Dog 8. 8k base, 10k shield, grade 1 with boost. Auto van or rear when placed from hand, reveal a grade three or greater card from your hand. Search your deck for up to one grade three card, reveal it, put it to your hand, and shuffle your deck. And if you put a card to your hand, choose one or more cards with the sum of their grade being three or greater from your hand and discard them. Continues hand when it would be discarded, it's discarded as a grade three instead. Okay, that's really good. This is the card that makes the heal guardians useful because you can use them as the dish fodder basically and the reveal fodder. But yeah, you know, you get a search for a grade three and then it can count as a grade three. You have six grade threes in this deck. Four of them are Chrono Jet, two of them are Bali, who the chances of you not kind of seeing one of them is low. I mean, that's my real deck in real life. And every game I've pulled one grade three without, well, except for one game, I've had, I've got an A grade three, regardless if it was Bali, who or Chrono Jet in my hand without having a G assist. And there was the one game where I did have to G assist. And I debated for a hot minute, like genuinely, I think I waited a minute or two and just thought about it because it was Bollywood that I got from it. And I thought in my mind, 
Do I get Balehu or do I wait for Chrono Jet? Do I willingly let him get to grade three first? I forgot what deck I was playing against, but I'm pretty sure it was a force deck. Do I let him get to grade three first and possibly fuck me? Or do I get the Chrono Jet now and fuck him before he can fuck me? And I really debated about it for a hot second. I think in the end I chose to get Balehu and then I top decked into a Chrono Jet the following turn. But um, yeah, moral of the story. Uh, Wait, what's the moral of the story? Oh yeah, never mind. Um, don't do stupid things. I say that now, and yet half the decisions I make in card games are very stupid, and my friend will vouch for that, so... Um, anyways, just three of eight, because you know, he's Stride Fighter and he can search your deck. This one is a controversial card right here. You can get this if you want. If you want to replace it, I know exactly what you should replace her with. Uh, Steam Breath Dragon, though. So it's an 8k base, 10k shield, grade 1 with boost. Continues Vayner Rear during your turn. If it was discarded from your hand this turn, it gets plus 5. Auto Vayner Rear when placed from hand. Look at top 5 cards from your deck. Reveal to 1 grade 3 from a and put it to your hand. Shuffle your deck, and if you put a card, you gotta discard one. So, you know, it's a 13k base if you discard it, which is always gonna happen. Like, even if you don't have a grade 3 in hand... I mean, even if you don't have a great form deck, if this is on the board, just fucking do it. Like, the literal skill of Chrono Jet reads, pay the cost, and then search your deck for up to one. You don't have to get it, and you can just do it to shuffle or to get power out of it. I've done that in real life so many times just to get power out of it. And it works, honestly, it really does. So, and then the top five ability, it's fine. If you don't want this, which I can see why you want it, I say go with Steam Maiden, I believe it's called Rebull uh 8k base 10k shield it's also a grade one it's when it's discarded you call it and then you soul blast one and you can sorry you soul blast one you call it and then you can put a normal unit to bottom if you do you draw a card and it gets plus five if you want to take it out for this i can see that because it's a way to reshuffle your back your deck but you have to put a normal unit back of course so if you want to put that in there i can see it just replace steam breath because everything else in this deck works perfectly fine and then we have our new grade one who is I've heard people give opinions about this. I'm not going to say they're either good opinions or bad. I've heard a mixture of both. Steam Scar GG, 8k base, 10k show, great on with boost. Auto when it's discarded from hand during your turn, you may call it to rear as rest. And auto rear when your great three or greater vanguard attacks, soul boss, want to retire it. Draw a card, choose one of your vanguards, and it gets plus five to end of turn. Okay, you know, it's not Revol because Revol could call itself a stand. And while yes, both can call themselves during the battle phase, which was why you want to run Rebu because it can get an extra attack this can't and because it causes rest but it can give the vanguard the 5k instead and both them soul blast and then you draw a card like genuinely speaking you could pick to run one you could pick to run both i would say in all honesty if you're gonna run one don't run the other because they both do similar things like i say keep steam breath regardless now that i think about it and if you're gonna run one either run gg or run rebel in my opinion I run GG. I'm not saying Rebo's bad. It's really good. I I admit to that all the way. I want GG because I want to give that power to Van. That's all I want out of it. And they do the exact same thing. So or similar things. So you do you. I do me. No one gets hurt in the process. That's just how it works. So far, Cap's a GG though, because he she can be good. Just um never a booster for some reason. <laughs> Next up we have our grade twos. Three copies of Steam Gunner Zyzed. Zyed. 10k base, 5k shield, grade 2 with intercept, auto van or rear when placed, soul blast 1 and discard a card, draw a card, choose one of your opponent's rear guards with grade less than or equal to the grade to the card discarded from your hand for this cost, and retire it. So, pretty much, place it down, draw, or sorry, discard, then draw, and then you can kill a rear guard equal to the grade of the discarded card. If it's a grade 4, you're killing everything, or something. If it's a grade 3, well, unless you're playing a mirror match and they call it a grade four, you're killing everything. And then grade two, chances of it missing. Grade one, chances of it's missing increase. Grade zero, I, if they have a grade zero rear guard, what deck does that? I know ghosties can do it, and I know ghosties should do it, but what other deck does that that they focus on grade zero spamming? Besides Trickstar, that exists in V. Um... And then the other skill is auto when it at rear, when it attacks, if you wrote a grade four this turn, soul charge one. A way to get soul, it's nice. Definitely a good card, honestly, because it can kill board. You can get your you can get your draw out of it. You can get a soul charge. Not that bad, honestly. Three copies. Next up, we have four copies of Smoke Your Dragon. Okay, here's how here's how Gear Chronicle works. If your main grade three is Chrono Jet, which you should run at four, if it is, 
you run smoke gear at four with it because smoke gear only works if you have chrono jet i mean half its skill but the skill that i see most people run it for auto vanner rear when it attacks it gets plus five ton to battle if you wrote a grade four this turn soul bust one and draw a card which is still a good skill because it's a 15k swing guaranteed followed by a possible draw and then the other skill the one i see people run it for continues rear if you have a vanguard with its chrono Genesis card name when you just cut a card from your hand it's discarded as a grade three okay everyone be honest right now out of all the gear chronicle players here how many of you genuinely run it because of that grade three skill? Now, I want you to think long and hard about this. If it didn't have that grade three skill, would you run it? I'll wait. Okay, right along enough. Anyways, my point is, yes, the 5k and draw card is still a good skill, but a lot of people I see just run it for the discard fodder, which is fine, it is. It's, it's fine, that's all. I'm not saying anything about it. I'm just saying like, you know, if you're building a Chrono Jet deck, there's no reason not to run this, considering it makes all of your discard fodder grade threes, which is exactly what you need for Chrono Jet to go off. And it doesn't happen, it doesn't have to be for Chrono Jet skill, it can be for everything. So like, even if you're playing a premium game and you're just going stride fodder, if you're Vanguard Chrono Jet, it still counts. So, Smoke Gear, nice grade two, four of. And now we have our last grade two, which is four copies of Steam Knight Calibum, 10K base, 5K shield, grade two with intercept. Auto rear, at the end of the battle of the attack, Counter bus one and bind it. Choose any number, sorry, choose any player's rear guard, not any number, and put them to the bottom of the deck. If a grade two or greater was put to the bottom, choose up to one normal unit with a grade minus one of that card from your drop and put it to hand. If a grade one or less was sent to bottom, draw a card and counter charge one. So pretty much, send a grade one to bottom, draw a card. If you send a grade three to bottom or two, you can get a grade one or grade two back. So, um, nice card i just now realized that the, and i swear i built this deck like weeks ago or whenever chronos command first came out i literally built it the same day and um i just now realized i'm gonna spoil it right now time leaper is in this deck that all of like the gear chronicle cards from the collection sets both the first one and the second one are both in here i don't know why that was important to me to bring up but for some reason i felt like it so yeah that's a point i need to make but yeah calibum's a nice great too, and I don't see any reason not to run it because it can, you know, get rid of pesky units and get you a plus out of it. Four of. Now on to grade threes, which are only six of of. Two of Steam Fighter Ballyhu, 13k base, grade three twin drive force gift, auto van and rear when placed, look at top seven, reel up to one chrono jet from among them, put it to hand and shuffle your deck. If you did not put a card into your hand, it gets plus 10 to the end of turn. So that's really nice. You could either get your Chrono Jet and fix your thing if you rode this, or just, you know, get an extra Chrono Jet for superior rides. I mean, not superior rides, just a ride to get a Force Gift, or if you're playing Premium, Ultimate Dos I do uh, release the Generation Zone. I would say the whole speech if I remembered all of it. Um, but, yeah, you could do that, or you could use it to get a plus 10. Here's how I play Balahu every time I used it, except for the one time where I had to ride it as a van. Call, look at top 7, almost every time there was a Chrono Jet not add chrono jet plus 10 to bali who for rushing numbers that's what i would always do place a force two on that circle call bali who and if i saw a chrono jet fuck the chrono jet get that plus 10 23k swing on its own with double crit because i always pick force two so yeah bali who just makes it really nice if you don't add a chrono jet and if you do add a chrono jet well you're fixing your uh hand so um either way nice great three to have like there's no reason not to at least think about him because he can actually fix your problems and make them better so two copies and then our main grade three, and our last grade three, is four copies of the boy who I've been mentioning so many times throughout this, Chrono Jetto Dragon. Grade three, twin drive, force gift, 13k base, act, van, discard a card, discard one or more cards with the sum of their grades being grade three or greater from your hand. Search your deck up to one grade four card, write it as stand, shuffle your deck at the end of the turn, retire that unit, and write a grade three from your soul's rest. So it's a way to get multiple force markers in a turn, and you know, it's a way to just shuffle your deck. Like I said earlier, it says up to. So you still have to pay the cost, but if you pay the cost and then you just don't search, I mean, you still search, but if you don't ride, you just get to shuffle your deck, maybe send some triggers back from away from the bottom. And you know, all these skills activate. Like, um, where's the one that activates when discarded? This one could go off, you could go off, in all honesty, and this can just make it easier because it's a great three. So, you know, all around, it's a good, that's a good support ability. I mean, I've only ever used that once like that, but it was always a good support ability regardless. So I like it. And then auto van or rear, when it attacks, kind of bust one ton of battle, it gets plus five and your opponent cannot call sentinels from their hand. This killed me. This effect killed me. I was playing the test match against Chrono's Command against Mandala, whose name I almost said in real life, and 
I admit that I got ever so cocky, which is... I want to call it rare, but the whole game I was encouraging him not to give up. And I believe this was the Star Video game where I was playing stupidly aggressive. And then he did the next stage, and I guarded, and then I re right before we did the drive check, I realized that, why did I keep my PG in hand? Why did I keep the thing that Chrono Jet can know? And then the game kind of played out from there, and I died because of a crit. That's my fault. I got overconfident and I was playing stupidly aggressive that game because I was going down a bunch of triggers. But, um, yeah, don't get overconfident and remember, read your cards because, um, whoo, Sentinel Restrict is fucking annoying, especially when they can crit sack. <laughs> but yeah, Chrono Jet's still a good go through regardless because, um, you know, nullify Sentinels and can always act as a support card while also getting you your main win cons. So, four of Chrono Jet. Next up, we have the one of tech of Interdimensional Dragon Time Leap for Dragon. Here's how this motherfucker made his way into the deck. When I was building it, I had space for one card, and I was thinking, should I increase this to four, or should I give myself this? Because when it first came out, I gave Time Leaper so much shit because I hated Time Leaper. <laughs> like, genuinely, I hated Time Leaper, and I still somewhat do, but I hate it less now. And I was thinking, should I put him in at one and just give him the chance of redemption? Or should I put uh, the Zayed at four? And I decided, you know what? Redemption and maybe the extra grade four will come in handy? Time Leaper. Yeah, it did come in handy. It genuinely did. Almost out of grade fours. Uh, and the only one left was Time Leaper. Ride Time Leaper. Win game. Yeah. I, I'm kind of glad I made that decision, honestly. I mean, yeah, I could put, I could have made this like an extra next stage, but it would feel weird making this an extra next stage. So, anyways, Time Leaper, Grade 4, Twin Drive, 15k base, Auto Van, when it attacks, put a rear guard to bottom of the deck, search your deck for up to one card. Yeah, put a rear guard on the bottom of your deck, so you have to pick your own, technically speaking. Search your deck for up to one card with the grade equal to the card that was put on the bottom for this cost plus one, and call it to rear, shuffle your deck, and the called unit, sorry, yeah, that unit gets plus 10 for the turn. So, if you put a grade two, call a grade three, gets a plus 10. If you put a grade three, call a grade four, gets a plus 10. If there's a grade four with the rear guard skill, that would be the best way to abuse the shit out of this, but still, Time Leap is a really good card, can get you multi-attack, and the only cost for it is they have to have a rear guard on board, and that's pretty much it. Because you don't have to counter blast, you don't have to discard, you don't have to soul blast. Really nice grade one. Ah, grade four. One of. Two copies of Chrono Dragon next stage. 15k base, grade four, twin drive. I hate this card. I'm I'm so sorry to like everyone who loves this. I don't hate it because I think it's a bad card. I think it's a good card. I genuinely, in my mind, I think it's a good card. But I don't know why looking at this thing makes me regret its existence in V. I don't know why. If you gave me this in real life, I would accept it as a gift, but I probably would like attempt not to use it unless I was forced to use it because I just don't like it for some reason. I love its skill. I think it's good. I don't know why just looking at this makes me hate it. Maybe it's just the art. I don't know. But I like the art too. I don't know. Something about this card makes me hate it. <laughs> um, anyways, Auto Van. At the end of the battle, they attacked a grade 3 or greater Vanguard, so you can't do this if you go first unless you know they skip to grade 3. If your soul has a Chrono Jet Dragon in it, discard 2, retire it, ride a Chrono Jet Dragon from your soul as stand until end of turn, that unit gets plus 15 and you cannot ride. So, you know, Chrono Jet becomes a 28k swinger. If you use its skill, 33k swing, no Sentinels, and you get 4 drives out of it. So, um, Really nice. Next stage can get you Mojo Attack. 2 of. And then our last boy. The thing that has the potential to be the worst card in this deck, and the thing that could has the potential to be the best card, and a, a thing that some people shit on and some people don't, and I can see why on both ends. Interdimensional Dragon, Chronos Command Dragon. 15k base, grade 4 twin drive, auto when placed on van, counter boss 1, soul boss 1, discard a card, all of the cost, put all your rear guards to bottom of deck in any order, look at top 5, choose any number from them, among them, call them to rear and shuffle your deck. They stole that from golds, they straight up stole, stole that from golds. Reset your field, call the top 5, and shuffle, I mean you don't have to call the top 5 but you get the point. Yeah, they stole that from golds, like... Fuck, I, I'm pretty sure the person that made this was like, hmm, what can I do with this? Okay, it has to have a send to bottom ability. Uh, let me just go scrolling through some random things. Oh, hey, a gold card. Let's just copy that thing. <laughs> but uh, in all in all, it's a good ability. It's a way to reset your triggers against decks like Mega Colony 
um, yeah, resets that. It also just can, you know, be used to send triggers back because this is an act ability. So you can just call triggers and then send them right back after doing this. And then, you know, have the chance to get a good feel out of it. Uh, my friend did not get a good feel out of it. I got an okay feel out of it when I was test playing it. So that's your note on that. So it has the potential to be good, has the potential to be bad, just depends. I like its art though. And auto van, when its attack hits a vanguard, put all your opponents rear guards to the bottom of the deck in any order. So pretty much they nuke their field, except they go all, all the go to bottom. This will not affect all paladins in the slightest because I'll just call it right back. But um, yeah, it has the potential to be good. It has the potential to be bad. It really just does depend on how you build the deck. Be like a lot of cards have that ability where they could be bad or good, but a lot of them are like, headstrong pushers to where they'll always be medium like it would either be medium or good never bad this is one of the cards that could go really good or really bad and it's dependent on both luck and skill of how you built the deck so it honestly it's up to you how you work with this i say it's a good card i've had okay with experience with it if you haven't had okay with experience with it don't run it if you want to run it go ahead two of because i don't suggest four that's a guarantee Force markers. We run 5 Force 1, 5 Force 2 because they have to be even. Force 1 or and Force 2. When they're both acquired, they be put on van or rear. Uh, difference is if Force 1's on a circle, the unit on it gets plus 10 during your turn and it can be stacked and put on the same circle multiple times. So if 2 are on the same circle, plus 20. If 4, plus 40. If 6, plus 60, etc, etc. Force 2, the original critical of our units becomes 2. It does not stack, but you can't put them on the same circle, not like it would matter. So, you know, your critical of the Vanguard can become 2. I personally use Force 2 in real life when I use my Gear Chronicle deck, but in this deck, I can see you going Force 1 just get more numbers out of it. But Force 2 if you want to, like, early rush your opponent down. Quick Shield, one of your units attacked, it gets plus 5 for the battle. Nothing too special about it, just a 5k shield. And that's it for uh, today's video, so I hope you guys enjoyed. This deck is very fun and interesting playing. I know I said that a lot, but like, it has the best potential in terms of like, it could go, I see this thing possibly going top tier at some point, if someone finds a way to exploit the shit out of it. And then I could see it falling below bottom tier because it partially relies on luck. But it'll, like a big part of it still technically relies on luck. So either way, that's it for the video. So, and before I uh, end it, I forgot to do this in the last few videos, but um, thanks to Mandala for giving me the idea to put this little crown marker over here. Thanks to you, you know who you are. Everyone go shout them out in the comments. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, join to the Patreon, join the Discord, follow the Twitch, and I'll see you on the next one. Don't forget to stand up, your vanguards. <laughs>